this guest speaker is an Lasallian educator. He, he uh, was uh, connected with Lasall Green Mills as an ICT um, person, indeed. And he's also a committee by heart. Uh, he taught here in uh, one of the institutions here in Kapite. So now he is a administrator uh, assistant to the executive undersecretary under DEFED. So without further ado, let me introduce you, uh, Mr. Mark Anthony C. So, Sir Mark, you may take over the presentation. Thank you for the wonderful words, Ms. Claude. Hello, po, Sir Mark. Good morning. Yes, po. Good morning. Can everybody see my screen now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Good morning once again, and thank you for allowing me in sharing these things to you about Deaf Ed Commons and Open Educational Resources, <laughs> commonly known as OER. In the Department of Education, when I arrived, uh, it's hard to believe that the X system of the department is actually not well adapted in terms of educational technology. So, the first question that I asked my boss, Yusek Alim Paspa, is that, what is your plan for the department? And he immediately answered that they are going to provide numerous uh, innovations like giving devices to the learners, having the high-end equipment. But at the end of the day, I immediately asked him, how about the teachers? Do you have any plan for the teachers? And he just said, once they have this equipment, everything will follow. They will learn on the process. So, ang sabi ko kay Yusek, Alin, Sir, I think that's a wrong connotation. That's a wrong idea. Kahit na meron tayong high-end equipment sa mga paaralan natin, pero hindi natin nabigyan ng tamang paraan ng pagtuturo ang ating mga maguro, ang mga guro, then that one will not be effective at all. We could say that internet facilities are really needed. However, facing the challenges in the ecosystem of DepEd, there are a lot of areas that doesn't have an internet access. That's why I have proposed to them an artistic pathway on how we are going to connect the disconnected schools. And through that one, DepEd Commons emerge and open educational resources have started in DepEd. So, allow me to share with you these things. We always say that the ideal computer setup for a school does have the following. Gusto natin na meron tayong one is to one ratio ng mga equipment, the classroom is very conducive, the infrastructure wise is good, maganda ang internet connectivity, ang facilities natin talaga ay nagagandahan, there are a lot of good softwares na hindi pirated, training development for teachers, everything is industry aligned and there is a technical support. Lahat ng ito, pangarap talaga ng bawat paaralan, bawat institusyon. Pero ang laging tanong dito ay, paano ito sisimulan? DepEd, with this administration, is doing its best to provide these things to the learners. That's why it now have the program called as the Digital Rise. Lahat ng ito ay pakapupuno para mapag-usay ng bawat guro ang kanilang kakayanakan sa pagbabahagi ng kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya. So, basing everything with the, the experiences in La Salle Green Hills, teaching teachers, aside from that, collaborating with them sa kanilang mismong classroom instruction. So, this video is way back in 2010. As you could see, these kinder learners are actually using the tablets, Samsung tablets during the Pearl program. The Sovereign News that time is very imaginative, risk taker. At ito ang nakita ko na isang dahilan kung bakit napagbuti ng paaralan ang kakayanang pag, ang, uh, pagtuturo gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya. This is my actual class. So 
Rebac 2010, hindi pa uso ang pinatawag na station rotation, nagawa na siya sa Lasal Dream Hills. With all of these things, hindi na ngayon tanong kung anong grade level dapat magsimula ang paggamit ng mga devices sa ito. Ang tanong ay, gaano kahanda ang mga guro sa paggamit ng mga, mga, ng mga makabagong kagamit ang ito sa pagtuturo na hindi na kukompromiso ang kanilang content, ang kanilang panahon, at ang kanilang kakayanan sa pagtuturo gamit ang mga ito. Ito ang setup sa public schools. Pinagmamalaki ng lahat na ganito ang setup. Ako mismo, sabi ko kay Yusek Alain, kung ganito ang ating setup, then we are not moving forward. We are always staying behind. Ang makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo, kinakailangan mobile. Masyadong magastos. Kinakailangan natin ng mag-convert ng isang classroom para maging computer laboratory. Why not convert everything to be a mobile classroom? At ito naging dahilan kung bakit ang DepEd sa kasalukuyan ay gumagamit na ng tablet devices. Ngunit hindi doon nagtatapos ang lahat. Kinakailangan mapagpusay ang kagamit ng pan pagtuturo ng mga guro. With this, we blend out those things in offline learning and in online learning. We wanted to enhance teacher skills by practicing everything like what they have learned, kailangan nilang i-relearn ang ilang mga bagay at mag-unlearn ng ibang perspektibo, lalo na kapag sinabi ang paggamit ng teknolohiya. Sinasabi ng karamihan na ito ay distraction lang sa loob ng klase. Ngunit kapag ginamit ito ng wasto, malaki ang itutulong nito, lalo na sa kakain ng uh, pagtuturo at enhancement ng mga mag-aaral. However, there are a lot of things na disconnected pa rin. This disconnected things are the concepts, framework, and approaches of our teachers. Dahil ang, ang perspective nila lagi, hindi sila makakakilos kung laging ang basihan ay internet connection. Ngunit, nais natin na pag ang mga guro sa public schools. Dahil, ang nakikita ko sa mga pampublikong paaralan, talagang problema ang internet connection. That's why, we blended out something that they could run even if offline. So with this, it will foster creativity, change, and cooperation. I know marami sa inyo ang medyo nagugulat, paano kaya tumatakbo ang isang offline material na interactive? So these things are actually the reasons. These are the challenges in the country. At ang ginawa ng DepEd ay hindi isang band-aid solution, kundi hinarap at mismo ang mga problema ito. The digital skills of the teachers, many of us are actually migrants of technology. Marami ang nagsasabi, ay, hindi ko na kailangan yan. Talagang resistance sila sa mga pagpabago. At sinasabi nila, kailangan namin connected sa internet. The digital gap is always there. At ang pagpapersonalize ng mga learning materials. I immediately uh, told the teachers, when I delivered training, lagi ko pong sinisimulan sa tanong na, sa tingin ninyo, anong subject kaya ang tinuturo ko? Uh, do you have any idea what subject am I handling? Anyone in the group? Sa tingin ninyo, anong subject kaya ang tinuturo ko? Marahil, uh, ang inisip ng karamihan sa inyo ay pwede siyang computer teacher or ICT teacher. But to tell you honestly, I am a regular Filipino teacher. Nung pa lang sa subject matter na hinahandle ko, uh, ito ay nagbibigay na kagad ng challenge sa mga teachers na he can do also, he can do as well na uh, hindi nila kailangan tignan ang kanilang subject na isang hindrance. But post, ito ay makakatulong dahil ang kanilang kaalaman sa paksa ay mas uh, nakakatulong dahil pwede nating gamitin ito sa paraan na uh, may enjoy ng mga mag-aaral ang kanilang mga learning. So, I am a regular grade 1 Filipino teacher way back then in La Salle, Green Hills. Nakita ko po na malaki ang itulong nito sa ating mga mag-aaral na hindi marunong masa natuto silang bumasa with the aid of the technology by using it properly. So, 
there are two things na ginagamit ko lagi when I deliver ito. First, the quotation from Jason Silva, he said, Technology is of course a double-edged sword. Fire can cook our food but also can burn us. Uh, ang teknolohiya, hindi siya kailangan tignan na isang bagay na talagang mabilis na makakatulong. Kailangan alam natin kaagad na pag nagamit ito ng masama o hindi maayos, pwede itong mag-backfire sa atin. Kaya kinakailangan bawat kilo sa paggamit ito ay pinag-aaralan ng mga. According to Steve Jobs, technology is nothing. What's important is that, is that you have a faith in people. That they are basically good and smart and if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. At itong quotation na ito ni Steve Jobs, ang pinakahawakan ngayon ng Department of Education sa pagbitigay ng mga uh, equipment sa bawat paaralan. There is a target project of the department na alam kong hinihintay ng mga public school teachers. It will run in three phases or in three years. Mamibigay po ang Department of Education ng laptops for the teachers. Kung hindi man dumating na 2020, by 2021, kung hindi dadating na 2021, darating po yung paligurado ng 2022. So, all of these things are important dahil kapag walang equipment ang teacher, paano nila may gagamit ito sa kanilang klase kung sila mismo ay walang magamit na kagamitan? So, with the recent EdTech leadership in Asia, I am very proud and happy that DepEd actually uh, mentioned because DepEd is actually second placer in this uh, competition. Napakasurap uh, sa pakiramdam na nasa international scene at ang DepEd ay nakilala dahil sa mga innovation projects nito. Not winning the gold play, uh, the gold uh, award, but having uh, in second place next to Australia is already a big achievement. Dahil isa lang patunay nito, that Ed is actually ready to prove that we are booming as an educational technology institution, not just in Asia but in the entire world. So. To share you things about OER, ganito po namin siya ginawa. Everything that is online will be available offline, like the multimedia, the assessment things, classroom management, giving of supplementary materials. We make sure that there's interactivity and the enhancement of productivity and skills enhancement of our teachers. DepEd have procured Adobe licenses at ito po ay dinistribute na sa mga teachers na nagtuturo ng Adobe Skills in junior high school and senior high school. Likewise, Office 365 accounts are also being given to teachers. Blending it all together, uh, kinakailangan pa ng intensive training for the teachers on how to utilize these things. But at the end of the day, isa lang ang target, ang mapagkusay ang kanilang kakainan sa pagkutu. Pag ito ay nagamit ng mabuti, papasok ito sa kabuuan ng tinatawag natin Uh, pathways on how we are going to connect the disconnected schools. Lahat ng nakikita ninyo sa screen ay ang tinatawag namin na map, uh, uh, mapping kung saan ito ay nagiging available sa paggamit ng offline tools. These are open educational resources materials na kahit walang internet connection, ito ay tumatakbo. Uh, yun nga lang, kinakailangan nakalagay siya sa isang hard drive at ito po ay mapapatakbo anytime, anywhere. So, meron po kaming training na binibigay sa mga teachers na paraan ang paggamit po nito. According to Dr. Strange, he said, Do you know what is the greatest gift anyone can receive in his lifetime? The greatest gift we can receive is to have the chance just once in our life to make a difference. Being a Lasallian educator and accepting the challenge in that end, I always mention this that kung ano ang aking natutunan sa Lasal Green Hills at kung paano ako pinaghusay, I will replicate that to the entire department. Malaki ang inspirasyon na binigay sa akin ng Lasal dahil dito ako pumusay at gumaling. Kaya naman, ito ngayon ang aking ginagamit para mapaghusay din ang mga guro sa Department of Education. Through all of these things, I always challenge teachers to have and develop these characteristics for them to innovate. First, They need to be adapted to these changes, become an innovator. They should learn how to have good communication skills, yung hindi nahihiya. Dahil kapag ang isang guro ay magaling sa ganitong kakainan, then there is a positivity of change. Kinakailangan 
positive thinker, good vibes lagi ang kanyang nasa isip at hindi tinatanong ang what if, what if. Lagi dapat tatanong ay ano ang kaya kong gawin para maturuan at magabay ako ang iba pang mga guro. And with this, everyone will become a lifelong learner, a good collaborator, and a visionary, and a good transformator. All of these things, ito ang kinakapalooban ng Digital Rice Program, ng DepEd Commons, at ng OER. OER have just started last year. Nasimula po ito noong April 24, 2019. I trained the first 12 teachers after my operation. Kasi ako po ay nagkaroon ng mandibular tumor, but it didn't stop me to empower the first 12 teachers. And after that, we balloon into 796 in just one month with the help of United Nations Development Program. And after that, uh, we continuously deliver trainings uh, nationwide. And it's not a question for us kung gaano man siya kalayo. I want you to watch this uh, short video. Uh, ito po ay nagpapakita kung ano ang aming nakaranasan sa pagbibigay namin ng training dahil ang lagi sinasabi ng mga guro ay pag sinabing that ed sa dal office na sa aircon lang yan but we want to make a difference we want to prove to them that kung ano ang nakalilang nararanasan naranasan din po namin please watch We have observed how teachers deliver this uh, instruction in their respective areas. Kakatapos lang ng landslide, pero nagtuturo pa rin sila. Marami sa mga guro, lalo na sa lungsod, ang mga nagre-reklamo sa kanilang estado. Pero nung nakita ko ang mga ginagawa ng mga guro, lalo na sa mga liblig na lugar dito sa Pilipinas, nakaka-inspire sila. Hindi naging tanong sa kanila ang um, ano ang naibibigay ng pamahalan sa kanila. Ang kanilang tanong ay ano ang kaya namin ibigay para makagbukin namin is uh, mag-aaral. This one is a school for the IP community. Mga itap ang, mga, ang kanilang mga mag-aaral. Many of our teachers need to walk long hours of time. Kung aming ginawa ito para ma-train yung mga teachers, kailangan din namin maranas ang kanilang nararanasan. Kailangan maglakad ng ilang oras, ginawa rin po namin yun. Because we are sincere our work. And we want to empower them. Nakakagulat na sa layo-layo ng aming nilakad, pero wala talagang paaralan Ang mga kasama ko po rito ay mga trainers ang kasama ko sa team ng PR. Meron kami tinatawag na last mile school sa DepEd. Ito yung mga alalang talagang sobrang layo. And imagine, these schools can run interactively even if without internet connection. At yon ang paggamit Educational. Lilang Hepe ng Educational Technology Unit 
at Executive Assistant Yusek Aling Pasqua, ang lagi kong binabanggit ay, hindi question kung gaano man kalayo ang mga guru na aming kailangan i-train. Basta, sinisigurado namin na sila ay mararating because we are sincere with our words. This is the concept in the key stages of the digital rise. We have the introduction phase, wherein we are going to train teachers on how to digitize their resources uh, sa pamagitan ng paggamit ng mga authoring tools. The next stage is adoption. We are going to prepare teachers with the, uh, in, the, in the use and productivity application tools essential for teaching. The next one is the adaptation stage. Teachers will be uh, taught on how to use a learning management system to support and create online learning modules. Dito ang nakakatuwa, ang mga guru na akala nila programmers lang ang kinakailangan na gumawa nun, even an ordinary teacher have managed to create their own learning management system. Next is appropriation. Teachers and learners use different e-learning tools to support the learning environment. And the last stage is the transformational. For them to develop new learning strategies and methodologies mediated by the power of learning devices. With all of these things, ito ang kanyang nilalaman. Ang introduction ay naglalaman ng basic program sa paggamit ng mga authoring tools at open sources materials. Mamaya ipapakita ko sa next slide kung ano-ano ang mga ito. Sa adaptation stage, tinuturuan namin ng mga guro sa paggamit ng learning management system. Bukod sa paggamit, tinuturuan din namin sila sa paggawa, talagang beginning from scratch, at ganun din ang paglikha ng kanilang sariling augmented reality and virtual reality material. Sa appropriation stage naman, dito kapasok ang proficiency program kung saan ang mga guru ay tinuturuan namin na lumikha ng kanilang sariling e-book at sariling mobile app. And the last stage is transformational na may novice at transformative program kung saan ito ay nakapalog sa subject specifics. Ito po ang tinuturo namin sa OER. With the basic program, gumagamit kami ng course lab, easy quizy, Wondershare Quiz Creator, Hot Potato, Word Search Generator, Crossword Generator, Comic Creator, Handbrake, and then we have also Gamified Templates and the Hat. Lahat po ng mga ito ay interactive. Pwede siyang tumak either online or offline. Pagkatapos po nito, prerequisite po kasi ang kasanayan ito bago sila pumunta sa next level, which is the Advanced Program. Ito, tinuturuan namin ng mga guro na gumawa ng sariling LMS Blending Vietnami and Moodle together, paggamit ng augmented reality and virtual reality sa pamamagitan ng Google Expedition, at pwede ito tumakbo kahit offline once na na-download, and lastly, ang paggamit ng offline library kagaya ng Kiwix, Colibri, and Reshopi. So lahat ng ito ay pumapalaw sa training. And sa proficiency program, dito po yung ebook development, mobile app development, at ang paggamit ng Adobe Captivate. Hindi pa po kami Uh, nagbibigay ng training para sa novice program dahil uh, kinakailangan mo ng mamaster na mga teachers sa public school ang tatlong ito. Sa mga nangyayaring kaganapan about COVID, di po po nabuo ang pinatawag na Death Ed Commons. And we are very happy because these materials na nagawa from the previous trainings, nagagamit siya ngayon either online or offline. Online kapag may access ang bata, Offline kapag ito ay na-download yun nga lang dahil bagong ma-access ang mga materials, kailangan talaga munang connected sila sa internet. As of yesterday, uh, April 1, we have 2,604,605 unique users of Deaf Common. Ito po nakalagay ang mga interactive instructional resources na pwedeng magamit ng mga mag-aaral, ng mga guro, at maging ng mga magulang para magabayan ng kanilang mga anak na pag-aaral because these things has enrichment activities. All of these things, I always say, the change we wanted to see begins in each one of us. As a Lasallian, we always say this, the change that we wanted to see begins in me. Kaya kung nais natin ng pagbabago, sinisimula natin ito sa ating mga sarili. At ito rin ang aking ipinabahag sa ating mga kapwa-guro. Ngayon, sa mga guro sa pangpublikong kaaralan. As the battle cry of Lasallians in teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives, that and commons in OER can make the impossible possible.
the undoable to be doable, and the unreachable to be reachable. At yan po ang target ng Debt and Commons at ng Open Educational Resources ang maabot ang mga mag-aaral, ang bawat guro na papagpusay gamit ang kanilang kakainan sa mga kabagong teknolohiya. Maraming maraming salamat.